Notion can do a lot of things and it does scare some beginners away. There are five characteristics that I see develop in a lot of beginners that you should try to avoid. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. So when you see something like this in Notion set up, whether you're watching a video or looking through the Notion templates, you'll see lots of text blocks, to-do blocks, databases, lists, different places to store things, different ways to access information. And all of these things can be built to suit you and your personal preference with your workflow. But just like any app, if you don't know the friction point that you want the app to solve, then you don't really know where you're gonna go with the app. So working out your friction point, working out whether Notion can solve your friction point, and then working out how to build that solution in Notion are the three steps you should look to try and go through. But in the process of going through those three steps, there are five characteristics that I see quite a lot of beginners sort of adopt. The first one that I see is template grabbers. They'll go around looking at different videos, different ideas in the communities, and they'll duplicate loads of templates and they'll try and use those templates or just store those templates for themselves to be used. Now this is a great way to start learning if you actually dissect the templates and work out how it works. But if you just copy that template for your workflow, it doesn't necessarily work for you. And if you need to change something, you don't know how it works. So when you're looking around for templates, instead of grabbing them and just hoarding them or using them verbatim, duplicate them, dissect them and learn how they work so you can adjust them and mold them to the way that you work. The second characteristic I see a lot of beginner, intermediate and even advanced Notion users doing is procrastinator planning. And a procrastinator planner isn't just Notion orientated, but essentially they will procrastinate by planning. So they'll plan out all the steps of the task of a project, they'll plan out all the meticulous details without actually doing anything towards that project. Now don't get me wrong, I do this as well. I play around with things in Notion to see how planning would work, but there's a difference between planning to do something and planning for the sake of planning. How I try to avoid this is I have a to-do list set for the day, and once I have those things done, then I will look to plan something else, but until I have those priority action tasks done, I won't try and plan out something else. And this links in quite well with the third characteristic, which is I'm going to class as a tinkerer. Because of the way Notion has been built and the amount of customization options you have, it is very, very, very tempting to just tinker around with different things, change the color, change the format, change the database, add things in, take things away. And because Notion is an evolving workspace and it will mold and change as you move forwards and as you use it, you will be tinkering and changing little bits. But when you have big, long hour, two hour long sessions of just tinkering around with things, you really need to look back in yourself and go, am I actually doing something that's productive? And again, I'll link this back to my to-do list. I will tinker with Notion for hours, but I will only do it once I've finished the high priority task that I need to get done in that day. Now taking this a step further, another characteristic is what I would call a restarter. And I see this quite a lot, especially in beginner users when they've set up their space and then they see someone else's space or someone else's setup and they think, that's really cool, that would work for me. And then they scrap what they've done and restart from the beginning. Now at the beginning, I can understand how tempting this is and it does make sense to restart. But when you've started building up a process that works for you and a workflow that works for you, I would suggest instead of doing a whole restart and just scrapping what you've done and going again, actually use that tinkering and play with different things, play with different aspects of that setup that you've seen. See if it works for you, if it does, then make the change, if it doesn't, then don't make the change. Otherwise you could be doing a complete restart and then realize actually this isn't productive at all and you will have wasted time, firstly, restarting your setup. Then secondly, obviously you need to change the setup back to the way it was, so you're now wasting more time in essentially starting again. And another characteristic that isn't just for beginners, it's for everyone that uses the app, it's a requester. Someone that's going to request features that aren't currently there or they're requesting a way to do something that isn't currently suited to the way that they work. Now we all want to have features that will help us move forwards and adding features and updates to improve our workflow or improve the abilities of the app is really important. But there's a difference between asking for a feature that might help just you out and asking for a feature that will help lots of people out. 
And then it's a case of prioritizing which feature do Notion develop. Do they develop the one that everyone wants or the one that a couple of people want? Now, if there is one specific feature that is a deal breaker, then obviously don't use the app because that's a limitation for your use case. But if it's one feature that another app does really well that Notion doesn't do, either at all or yet or well enough, then use the other app and use Notion to bring everything together as like glue. Note taking is one of those topics and things that people like to diverse out and use different apps such as Rome and Obsidian. But if you're interested to see how I note take on Notion, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.